Hello everybody, my name is Doomfish, and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can make one of these conveyor belt systems like you see behind me. So all it is, is some stairs, slabs, sort of running in a loop. And the nice thing about this is that you can sort of drop items on it and let it get picked up in the hopper right over there. So we can see, I just got a stack of items, and you can say any item that would fall onto it sort of gets caught up on these stairs, gets pushed down, and will get picked up by this hopper and put into this chest right here. So this is a great way to move items. It's definitely one of the more unique ways to move items. You could say normally you might use water streams or slime block pushers or something like this. Um, but definitely one of the practical applications here is moving items around in the nether without using hoppers. So you can move larger quantities of items around. And I'll show you later on some practical ways to do that. But for now, let's get into the tutorial for this build in particular. So here's everything you're going to need for a very simple conveyor belt system. You'll need a hopper, a chest, a lever, a comparator, five repeaters, eight stairs, eight slabs, a sticky piston, 16 blocks, four pistons, and about 23 redstone dust. So start by placing a lever, and then a comparator facing into that. Go ahead and right-click that comparator, put two dust in front, one to the right like so, turn around, go ahead and place a repeater with the two ticks, with dust right here. Then go ahead and put this facing into a repeater like so, then knock out the block down here, put a sticky piston facing up with a block on top, and then go ahead and put a repeater coming out of that like so. Now go ahead and head four blocks out of this like so, and then another four blocks out to the left, and something like this it doesn't have to be exactly where I've placed it, but a piston facing upwards, and then to the left, one facing to the right. Then we're going to count eight blocks from on top of this piston towards the right side of the uh, area here. And we're going to go ahead and place down a piston facing this direction, and then another one facing down right here, so we get something that looks something like this. Now for each of these pistons is facing sort of horizontally, so this would be this one and this one, and these two are vertical ones, but just for the horizontal ones, we're going to place down two blocks like so, behind each of these, just like this, and put a repeater set to two ticks facing into these. Then we can sort of do a similar thing. We're going to place some blocks underneath this one, and then this one already has blocks underneath. And we're just going to put some redstone dust here. Also, we can also put some redstone dust behind these repeaters as well. And then what you need to do is go ahead and connect up your redstone. So you can just place a block here, and then some redstone dust into this repeater here. But all it takes is just making sure that all of these wires are connected. So I'm just doing it just by placing some blocks here, and make sure all these wires line up. And we can place some here, and there we go. So now I've gone ahead and taken out the temporary blocks in between these pistons, and what we're going to do is head on this piston right here, it's important that it's a specific one, and place a stair like so, then a slab, and do this repeating pattern all the way to this block right here. And then we're going to do a similar thing, so we're going to place down a temporary block here, we're going to place a slab, we're going to break this, then we're going to go ahead and place down a stair, slab, stair, slab, a stair, and then a slab right here. So we get a shape sort of like this. So the slabs are on top of each other, so are the stairs, and they're sort of offset by one, so we have a slab over here, and a stair up here. Now for this stair right here, sort of towards the end of our conveyor belt, we're going to place down a chest, head to the other side, and put a hopper facing into it underneath this conveyor belt. Now when we activate our mechanism, we should see, hopefully, that our entire conveyor belt sort of works in a cycle here. And it is a little bit loud, so I do apologize for that. But you should be able to see everything working just fine here. So we've got our monostable circuit from our timer. And everything sort of works, we can see, just like we did in the example earlier, placing out any items in any of these spots right here, we'll go ahead and transfer them into this hopper here. So that earlier design was nice for a concept, but this is something a little bit more useful. So it's the exact same thing we did before. Again, the important concept is that these pistons that are horizontal, so this one and this one over here, are connected up by a two-tick repeater, and they're sort of offset from the timings of these vertical ones. And so we've got 12 blocks being pushed here, again with the alternating pattern of stairs and slabs. And if we flip this lever, we'll see that we get an entire shifting floor that could carry an entire uh, farm's worth of drops here. So we'll just grab some items, go ahead and grab a stack. And you'll see that instead of having the one hopper, we have a line of hoppers at the end here. So what we can do is just toss down items all the way down. And again, do be careful of the size of your platform because it can be a little bit laggy on the server. You can see we can just throw items anywhere there, and they get picked up and deposited in this chest. Again, great for nether-based builds. So one more design worth trying is a sort of more expanded design. So if you have a longer area to cover, you can do something like this. Now, again, it's pretty much exactly like the other ones I showed you, just with some minor modifications. So we have the same shape, same idea. So this is a conveyor belt, but instead of having the piston facing um, downward 
over here, it's facing downward into a piston facing towards the other way. So it just sort of shifts it down one, and we have this repeating pattern. And I'll show you what it looks like when it's running. Very similar, we have these two pistons here, and we sort of have a long conveyor belt where it still has the same idea of looping all the way down there, running into a hopper, and looping all the way back. And of course, for each horizontal piston, no matter what, no matter where they are, they're hooked up to a two-tick repeater, and we have it set to where all of these receive timings at the exact same time, so that we see we have this very nice, sort of uh, very cool-looking, synchronized conveyor belt. And of course, with creative designs like this, there are a lot of different ways you can go with it. You can make an elevator out of just stairs or the slabs. You can sort of recycle them so that we have pistons going upwards a long way instead of having this long track at the bottom filling back. Um, but the choice is yours. Again, this is a very fun sort of way to transport items. And it can be practical for sure, especially in the nether. Um, but water streams are best bet in the overworld. And this is definitely a very inventive way to transport items. And it's something that I wanted to do for a long time when I was a kid and when I played on Xbox and didn't really know how to use redstone at all. I still enjoyed making stuff sort of like this. I didn't know how to do it exactly right. But like I said earlier, this is definitely something you can make in your worlds if you want a fun way to transport items and something that looks really nice as well. So that's going to do it for today's tutorial. I hope you found it informative. If you did, don't be afraid to leave a like and you can subscribe for more content just like this in the future. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.